Internet Computer is one of the best, if not the best, blockchains available today. The reason for that is because you can actually build everything on chain with Internet Computer, including compute and storage. This means that Internet Computer can service HTTP requests. It can also service HTTPS outcalls, which means that you would no longer need an Oracle like Chainlink. On-chain data storage is only about $5 per gigabyte per year. Compute or computational power is also available on chain. And this means that there is no Web 2.0 cloud needed, but it can still be used. Internet computer smart contracts, which they refer to as canisters, are Googleable, meaning that they are indexed by search engines and you can find sites through a traditional Web2 search engine, which is a pretty cool thing. Internet Computer's website, which is internetcomputer.org, is hosted completely on-chain using Internet Computer. Give you some ideas of what this means, you can host video services on-chain, you can have games built completely on-chain, you can have AI hosted on-chain. In fact, Dominic Williams, the founder of Internet Computer, recently demonstrated AI running 100% on-chain with Internet Computer. NFTs can be hosted completely on-chain, whereas most other blockchains, if not possibly all other blockchains, when you have an NFT, all you really have on the blockchain is a pointer to something over on Web2 where your NFT is actually being stored. Databases can be hosted completely on-chain with Internet Computer. And as we previously discussed, websites can be hosted completely on-chain. Another advantage to Internet Computer is their reverse gas model, or cycle fee, as they refer to it with Internet Computer. This means that users typically don't need gas to interact with and use dApps and other services hosted and built on Internet Computer. This makes adoption far, far easier. Internet Computer is also the only blockchain that offers both BTC and ETH layer twos, known as CK BTC and CK ETH respectively, which is chain key Bitcoin and chain key ETH. Internet computer is one of the only, if not the only blockchains that offers everything on chain. Internet computer is the number one blockchain for technology, in my opinion. And that in turn means that it is the number one blockchain for adoption moving forward. I do believe that Internet Computer has a real chance of overtaking Solana, overtaking Ethereum. I don't think that it's going to overtake Bitcoin anytime soon, if ever, because after all, Bitcoin is Bitcoin. That said, I don't think that Internet Computer is going to overtake Solana and almost certainly not overtake Ethereum during the 2024-2025 bull run. And by overtake, I'm specifically referring to the market cap. That said, Internet Computer should provide for an easy 5 to 10x minimum from today's prices, which are hovering around the $17 to $18 range. I also think that internet computer can climb somewhere in the $200 to $400 range within the 2024-2025 bull run. Currently, my internet computer is sitting on Coinbase. I just haven't created an internet identity and moved it over to an NNS wallet just yet. I would like to buy another 30 ICP here soon, bringing me up to a nice even 500 ICP, at which point I will probably just go ahead and create a internet identity and create a neuron in order to go ahead and send my ICP to an NNS wallet. While I am very bullish on ICP, it is not my only holding, although it is one of my largest holdings currently. And the reason for that is because I'm really looking to get at least a 10x out of anything that I invest in whenever possible. And really, I'd like to see more like a 20 or 30x. And I think that 10 to 20x is 
possible for ICP, but I think it's going to be closer to a 10x during this bull cycle. And as I said, I'd really like to get a 20 to 30x, and therefore I have some of my portfolio diversified in other areas. I think that ICP is something that is definitely worth keeping an eye on moving forward, not just for the 2024, 2025 bull run, but into the future beyond that, as I do believe that ICP is here to stay. And I think that with the technology that it has and the things that it's able to do, I definitely think that it will ultimately overtake Solana and quite possibly, hopefully, overtake Ethereum market cap as well. Do you currently hold any ICP? And if not, might it have anything to do with the FUD created by SBF of FTX before he was caught, tried, found guilty, and sentenced to prison. I also made that same mistake myself as I've only been investing in crypto in the form of buying crypto since about May of 2023. It would have been nice if I had become more aware of ICP and given it more of a chance earlier on and got in at even lower price points. However, that's one of the challenges with crypto. There's always another crypto. So, so, so many cryptos. And although, yeah, you should do research, there's just not enough time to research every crypto out there. I mean, if you think about it, the top one to 200 cryptos will probably move and make some money. And then there's thousands, if not tens or hundreds of thousands of other cryptos out there in the wild. And I just didn't look into ICP sooner, wish that I had. And I think that more and more people are going to start to become more and more aware of ICP and ICP's potential. My suggestion to you, if you're not already invested in ICP, if you're not already well informed with ICP, is to start researching ICP. And I strongly suggest that you consider starting to accumulate ICP.